Hey guys, I am DC, creator and host of Barside Jive. Welcome to my daily dose of rock music history. Today is Saturday, November 9th, 2019, and you are witnessing my Carnival of Love Tour Day 3-0. I'm coming at you live, worldwide, from 1523 Dragon Street in the heart of Dallas's Design District. Now, what do you say we talk some rock and roll? Flashback, because on this day in 1961, Brian Epstein went to Liverpool's Cavern Club to see the Beatles perform for the very first time. He had been getting requests at his NEMS music store for a record called My Body. After several more visits, Epstein would offer to manage the group, which he did until his death in 1967. And what a great manager that dude was. The Kingsman's classic, Louie Louie, is released in the U.S. It will enter the Hot 100 near the end of November and peak at number two in early January. John Lennon first met Yoko Ono. On this day, 1966, at a showing of her work, at the Indica Art Gallery in London. She supposedly doesn't know who Lennon is, right? The two wouldn't get together until 1968. How about this? The first issue of the rock and roll magazine, Rolling Stone, which included a free roach clip with every subscription is published in San Francisco on this day in 1967. The cover featured a photo of John Lennon from his movie, How I Won the War. Also on this day, 1967, in a move which is later described by both sides as being conflicting egos, Roger McGinn expels David Crosby from the birds. Crosby is replaced by Gene Clark, an original member of the group returning after two years away. David Crosby later admitted that he was an asshole. Fact. On this day, 1968, a U.S. Army captain is quoted in Rolling Stone magazine as saying rock and roll music contributes to both the usage of drugs and the high venereal disease rate among enlisted men in the Army today. Today's Army. Well, maybe not today's Army. That was in 1968. Okay, Simon and Garfunkel. Freebird! They record what would become their signature tune, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Kind of like their relationship, <laughs> Troubled Water. With future member of Bread, Larry Netchel on piano on this day, 1969. Art wanted Paul to sing the song, but Paul insisted that Art's voice was better suited for it. It was a decision that Paul would later say that he totally regretted. After years of struggling as a member of two New York area bands, The Hassles and Attila, and as a barroom piano player, Billy Joe releases what will ultimately be his breakthrough album, Piano Man, on this day, 1973 was the year. The title song will be released as a single and become a top 25 hit early the next year. On this day in 1974, Randy Bachman, the former lead guitarist for the Guess Who, no, no, the Guess Who, 
enjoyed a number one song with his new band, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Randy suffered through the lyrics of You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet on a demo recording as a private joke about his brother Gary, who had a speech impediment. The record company liked that take better than the non-stammering version and released it. The song not only gave the band their third U.S. Top 30 hit and a number two in the U.K., Gary Bachman stopped stuttering. Go figure. Must have been the money. The Beatles launched their official internet website, thebeatles.com, on this day in 2000. And I got one more for you guys. Andy White, the Scottish studio musician who producer George Martin hired to play drums on the Beatles' Love Me Do and its B-side, P.S. I Love You died following a stroke at the age of 85 on this day back in 2015. And kitties, that is rock and roll and wraps my rock history lesson today. <laughs> okay. But wipe those tears away because there's more coming from me to you very soon like tomorrow and every day. As I peel back the pages, that's right guys, I peel back those pages of my big ass rock history book and explore the past of the rock legends. <music> On my daily dose of rock music. If you'd like to check out my daily dose archives, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. Look in the Daily Dose playlist. It's all there, guys. And hey, what about showing some love while you're there, right? Click that big ass red subscribe button and subscribe for free. You get an alert when something new posts, as well as you can join our cool YouTube community. Also, I cover rock news and history during my weekly live Tuesday and Thursday shows at the Vocal Media Studios in North Dallas. Both of those shows are 60 minutes packed full of music, including the very best singer-songwriters, as well as some of the coolest tribute and cover bands in the country. And I do this during my live music showcase every Tuesday, every Thursday. I also bring you my tipsy gypsy Brie Akers. She brings tips and drinks from behind the bar. And then my Art Jive Live segment. It's all about visual art, guys. Featuring artist Brad Jensen and other creatives. So join all of us, me and Brie and Brad and whoever else comes on the show at VocalNow.com. And remember, vocal spelled with a K. Why? I don't know. I guess C wasn't available. But go to VocalNow.com. Look for the Bar Side Jive image at the top of the app or at the top of your browser. Click on it. It's right beside the zoo. 7.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you'll come right into the show. We're going to beam your ass up. That's right. We're going to bring you in. Hey, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed Tommy Katona last Thursday on my vocal show, as well as Taylor D on my Wednesday show in the Design District. And then Fifth Phoenix was on my Thursday vocal show. And then I had Bradley Banning on Friday yesterday at my show I do at the new location of Sloan and Williams Winery and Outlaw Cider in Old Town Louisville. And what a cool place that is. In fact, Taylor D actually performed uh, with Chad uh, last night at the winery on the patio. Man, we had all those heaters on that patio. It was an amazing evening, packed, full of people, great food, lots of conversation, lots of great music. It was a blast. It was a blast. You should make Sloan and Williams Winery your place to go on Friday evenings. Uh, I do a show there from 6 to 7 featuring a musician, and we just have a great time, guys. Wine, cider, 
Lots of good music, lots of good fun, lots of great food. It's got a big ass kitchen there and lots of uh, good food coming out of it. So you should make that place your Friday thing to do. Anyhow, I had great guests this past week, uh, every day, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys at one of those events. Yeah. All right, let's see what else I got next. Uh, don't forget, if you'd like to support what I do here, support any of these shows, it's real easy. Just go to paypal.me, P-A-Y-P-A-L dot M-E, forward slash guys, bar side jive live. You can contribute anything from, I guess, a penny on up. So uh, we do appreciate your contributions. We appreciate your support and all the ways that you guys do it because that's what uh, keeps us doing it, right? And I do also appreciate your loves, likes, shares, and your comments. Those are uh, really uh, motivational, just motivational. Guys, be sure to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. And I have Instagram, I do. I have Instagram, although most of you baby boomers don't. I do. <laughs> at Barside Jive. Yeah, it's just that simple, at Barside Jive. And my website, for more information, is barsidejive.com. And of course, my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. And that's where everything I do is archived. You can find it in a playlist somewhere there. So, uh, just check out my YouTube. And guys, I do appreciate you hanging out. I see you on here. I see you watching. I see your likes and your loves and your comments. And I appreciate them all very much. Thank you for taking time out of your Saturday. And it's a beautiful Saturday day outside to uh, hop on here and watch me. So uh, hope you're enjoying the uh, rock music history. If you're enjoying the rock music history, just comment below. Let me know there's uh, reasons I'm here. <laughs> and uh, guys, it is the weekend, and I'm just going to remind you, as I do every day, always drink responsibly, don't drink, or even text and drive. Keep your mind on what you're doing, because we want you around for a lot longer. Hell, we want to be around for a lot longer. Maybe we should follow Keith Richards' footsteps. In fact... Maybe we got to start thinking about what kind of world we're going to leave for old Keith when we're gone. Because <laughs> he's going to outlive us all. But yeah, don't drink or text and drive. It's just too dangerous, guys. And also, real important, seek every day to be a hero in someone's life. It's real easy. Just reach out and, and be a friend to somebody in some way, every day. Make this whole world a much better place for all of us. And I'm going to cut out of here. I am done, 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 done for the day. And I'm going to go find me a patio with a drink. But I assure you, I will drink responsibly. I can promise you that. And until tomorrow, guys, because there's no shows tonight or tomorrow. But until tomorrow, when I see you for my daily dose, peace, love, and rock and roll, guys. Rock and roll. See you soon. Good night, Bill. I'm thinking of you too. I'm thinking of you. Is you ready, Ski Cat? And what's up, Doc? Here's Johnny. Have mercy.
if you guys did experience some head, neck, or back tingles during this show and have an overwhelming sense of a deep, relaxing feeling, be advised that my content now does contain ASMR. This isn't just a word from the sponsor. It's simply a very good suggestion. It stands for Real Refreshment. SpartiJiveLive.com You are feeling the tingles. It is the best time to put the lotion on the skin.